Hey game, Jack Lair here. I uh, just wanted to go through and show you guys some of the toys that I had as a kid that now my sons play with. Uh, my mom has been nice enough to kind of keep them in a toy box here and every time they come up for the summer or whenever they come to visit they get a chance to play with the toys that I played with as a kid. thought you guys might get a kick out of this. Now most of these I have no clue what their names are anymore because it's actually been a couple decades. We'll just leave it at that. For instance, we'll start with this guy, Casey Jones. These are all going to be uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles to start. So there's Casey Jones. And then, you know what? Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm surrounded by toys. This was one of the weird Triceratops guys. I don't remember what their names were. Uh, his tail's long gone, but going through uh, three generations of me now. Well, not three generations, but me, my oldest son, and my youngest son now, so... Parts are bound to get lost. Uh, this was actually the robotic ninja turtle. I don't remember this story about this guy. I believe that uh, Donatello made him. And then of course we've got uh, some random comic book characters. We've got Wolverine, of course, because you have to have one of those. We've got Batman from the Michael Keaton version. He's lost his cape, he's lost the little retractable thing, but eh. This is the Punisher. He was actually a cap gun. So you put caps in there and he makes lots of noise. There we go. Of course, no child is complete without his Mr. Miyagi action figure. Huh? you know who that is? That is Flattop, who is one of the villains in Dick Tracy. Let's see, we've got this guy, I don't remember his name, but he was from Captain Power. I used to have more of the toys, but I think they broke or disappeared over time. I know him, he's supposed to have wings, but the wings are broken. So. Uh, on to more that I know. Of course, Lionel. He know I lost the battery thing to light up his eyes. It's long gone, but well, I know kids. And just to give you an idea, uh, da, 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 of size there, the, the Thundercats figures were actually super huge. He's lost all the pieces, so he doesn't have the claw, and he doesn't have the Sword of Omen. Two guys. It's a text. It's the Perry noise from Phineas and Ferb noise. No clue who this guy is, so if you know, go ahead and let me know. No clue. He is about as big as the Lino figure, so might be somewhere in there. And I've got this guy, this Samurai. He had a helmet and a sword and all kinds of cool stuff that was on him. Lost it a long time ago. This weird little thing is apparently from Starcom, <clears throat> and what it is, is it's, let's see if I can get this up here, but it's got the little dude, he's got little magnets on his feet, so he can kind of attach to wherever the metal plates are. It's also spring-loaded, now, let me see if I can do this without, it is a very old toy, so, there we go. So I see it's got a little plate up there. So he sits up there and now can shoot people. Kind of cool. Like I said, it was originally spring loaded, but this part has become loose to the point where if you actually set it off the way it's supposed to, it actually, that part goes flying off into space. Uh, let's see, uh, I have two Silver Hawks toys, Silver Hawk toys that are remaining. Uh, one my son has upstairs, I'll make it a picture of it later, but the other one, yeah, it's the buzzsaw is what's up there. The other one is the, the bird, who I do not remember the name of, but he hung on one of the silver wings arms. One day I want to get the rest of those again. Uh, let's see, found a whole host of these little guys, the muscle figures. And this is one that I just happened to grab. He's a combination lock. 
Once again, text noise. I gotta love it. Teach me to mute my phone. Let's see where to go from there. These little guys, I don't know where they came from. Now I know they came in a package with bigger guys, but I don't remember what they were. So once again, if you have any idea, please enlighten me. This guy creeps me out. This guy kind of looks like the, the, the old guy that was in every episode of Scooby-Doo. Old farmer, whatever. Right. On to... Uh, save that for last. We'll move on to one of the coolest things. And I know these two originally came together. And I don't remember either of their names. But these are going to be He-Man figures, by the way. So we've got the guy who... And then he came in the horse. And so he rode in the horse. Like so. And of course his enemy was... This guy. So this guy had the kung fu fist. This guy had the punchy fist. So we've got that. Battle action Skeletor. This battle action no longer works. Battle action He-Man though, actually still works. So really cool there. Uh, there's a foot figure I couldn't find earlier. Uh, this guy I don't remember his name, but he does this when you turn his. Oh, he extends like that. And I think his arms and legs do as well. Yeah, but he's kind of more pain than he's worth. No clue. Let's see. Of course, no He-Man collection is complete without the ladies. Tila, Evil Lynn. I played with this guy for hours when I got him for Christmas. He's Ram Man. All he, he would down. And there's a little button down here and you'll push it and he would go like that. Triclops, who had a different eye, whether he was surprised, kind of angry, or really angry. He had a cool sword and stuff. Cyclone. Whee! It's been a little thing. Don't remember what this guy's name is, but he's got man at arms. Other left arm. I don't know where man at arms is. But you used to fill up his head with water, and then you would, and he would spray water at you. Uh, Mechanic, I believe. Havoc from uh, She-Ra with his crossbow. Don't remember what this guy's name is. Uh, I want to say it was. Yeah, I see, Bumblebee was the Transformer, so I don't know if they would have gotten in trouble there. But he has Trap Jaw's arm. Don't wear trap jugs. Merman with uh, the evil He Man that was blue. His arm. Beast Man. Prince Adam. He actually came with like a velvet vest. And. This guy, who I believe was called Spider, Spy, Spider. He was supposed to be a spider of some kind. He had like a little winch. He would hook it on, and he would go Zroop, like that. I've also got uh, the roadster thing. No wings, and I lost the top that goes on Castle Grayskull, but had this as well. Don't remember the name of it. I've also lost the legs that were super glued over time, and just kind of ran fast. I had this thing that has the big other part and it scoots along and then it swings it out and then it swings ridiculous in the show as well. This was one of my favorites. This is the battle ram, if I remember right. And it could detach and it would have this this is the sky sled. 
And the other thing it had was little launchers. You could put those in there and you lock it down, then you push the button and it goes and it would shoot them. And they weren't like foam, they were like hard plastic. So you could actually hurt other people with them, which was a delight as a young child. And of course, Castle Bray Skull. Cause oh. just awesome. And the last uh, group of toys, we'll start with this one. So if you know what this is, you know what's coming. This was one of the monsters in the series. I have no clue what its name is. I don't even know if they had names. Because they never lasted more than an episode. But this was the monster. And then... The last... And my son remembers this. He is four. And when he knew we were coming up to Grandma's, the only thing he could say for about a month was like, Dad! Dad! We're going to go to Grandma's and I'm going to play with your Voltron. Now this is the, the, the larger of the ones, and the, the lines actually detach. They've got all the people inside of them. You see Hunk down there. And this actually sparked a great conversation at uh, a gathering of my friends as we tried to figure out whether Sven or Lance was the actual person that was killed, who replaced who, which color was in which lion. And this originally came with a sword and key and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, over time, most of that's gotten lost, as you know, little pieces do. But that's the kind of the crown jewel of the collection. Others of you may disagree, depending on what I've showed you. But uh, that's a bunch of the toys that I used to play with as a kid that my two sons still play with and have had a blast with this past week. Um, Thank you very much for strolling down memory lane with me. Uh, once again, <laughs> if you know any of the ones that I've forgotten the names to, go ahead and put a, put a comment down in the comments. And uh, Or, if you think that there was something in here that you think is better than the Voltron, go ahead and argue it out down there as well. Also, if you want to, do a video response. Show me some of the great toys that you still have from when you were a kid. Or, if you're still a kid, Show me some of the great toys that you're playing with right now. As always, thank you very much for watching and play on.